Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I am very, very excited because we're doing something a little bit different for me at least. Obviously you guys know I don't really do reviews that often on this YouTube channel. I'm definitely the type of person that sticks with the same makeup products in every single video. I mean, if it ain't broke, <laughs> don't fix it. Every once in a while, a makeup brand in the industry will come up with a product that is very, very exciting that everyone cannot stop talking about. And that is what happened today because one of my favorite brands of all time, Anastasia Beverly Hills just launched their brand new foundation and their setting powder. Ooh, look at that good effect. That's a little scary. Three Jameses, ooh, can barely even do one. <laughs> Let's be real, okay? It is no secret that for me, foundation is a little bit of a sore subject when it comes to a makeup routine. Like we've had some great moments. We've also had some really, really awful, embarrassing moments. And I'm not afraid to admit that I'm definitely not a foundation expert in any way, shape or form. I struggle quite a lot with it, honestly. But at this point, I have tried quite a lot of different foundations to try to find like my perfect foundation that works for me. So whenever a new foundation comes out that I'm excited about, I definitely always wanna try it out. And for today's video, that is exactly what we're going to do. Anastasia sent over their entire shade range of their foundations and their powders and we're going to test it out. I have some meetings, I have some phone calls, and I also have a photo shoot today. So we're going to be doing a full wear test, giving you guys the full tea on the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation. All right, you guys, let's just jump right into this review. I'm so excited for everything that I have to do today. I feel like this will be a really good wear test as well because we'll be wearing it all day long and also through a photo shoot. So we'll get to see how it really photographs in front of super high definition cameras, which could be very, very scary, or it could look really, really bomb. Anastasia sent over these PR packages super early this morning. And if you open it up, here's what's inside. If I pull one of the shades out of the PR box, this is actually what the packaging and component looks like. It is just a super simple glass rectangular bottle, which I really, really like. Um, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation on this this side and on the other side it says foundation in really huge black letters and when I first saw this I'm not gonna lie it's not that I didn't like it it's just something that I've definitely never seen before and when I saw it at first I was a little bit taken aback but I do follow Marvita on Twitter who's the president of Anastasia and somebody asked her about it and she said that it's actually for makeup artists because when you pack everything in a kit it can be really really hard to kind of distinguish everything so if it's labeled you know exactly what you're grabbing for and I kind of think that that's low-key very very smart and straight to the point now in each bottle I believe there is Yep, one fluid ounce of product, which is definitely the universal standard when it comes to foundations at this point. And this will be retailing for $38, which I feel like is also like kind of the standard too. I think the Fenty one is $35. The Too Faced one this way that I always use is $38. I think the Urban Decay one is $40 if all those prices are right in my head for some reason. So it definitely is like an average price point in terms of the other foundations of the top tier brands. Now in terms of shade range for this foundation, there are five different categories, fair, light, medium, tan, and deep. Deep, and they come in 50 different shades, which I think is so, so beyond incredible. There's not a single skip or gap in between. There's a nice, beautiful ombre from super, super pale to super, super dark. And everybody, I'm sure, can find a shade somewhere in here. Hopefully, me included, because you guys know that I struggle quite a lot. But I feel like this is really, really important. So many brands right now with the makeup industry are coming out with foundation lines with like a super pale white color and then a dark brown. And are like, oh my God, we're inclusive. Whoop de doo. But in reality, there's like 12 shades and the undertones are all awful. Inclusivity means that literally anybody can go to the line and anybody can find their color. And I think that is very, very important. I'm not gonna swatch all 50 shades because I don't think that showcasing the deeper skin tones on my skin tone is gonna help literally anybody purchasing it, duh. But I do wanna give some quick love to Nima Tang and Alyssa Ashley. They have some of my favorite foundation reviews for women of color and also Makeup Tiffany J, just because I freaking love her and I've been obsessed with watching her videos recently. If you guys wanna check out their videos on this foundation, I'm sure they'll be up very, very soon. I wanna quickly go over the claims before we actually put the foundation on. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation is water resistant, long wearing with a medium coverage formula. Okay. It gives the complexion a fresh radiant look with a lightweight second skin feeling. It is a no flashback formula. We will definitely be testing that with our photo shoot later on today. It is suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin, which I know is very, very important for a lot of your sisters out there. It is clinically tested, dermatologist tested, and the formula is also cruelty-free and vegan. Last thing before we actually get into our makeup application, I know this intro is very, very long. Anastasia also launched their brand new setting powders as well, which I am very, very pumped for and will be using in this video. It comes in five different shades, which I think is actually really, really cool. We have the shade of vanilla for light skin tones. We have banana for medium skin tones. We have deep peach for tan skin tones. We have golden orange for deep skin tones. Oh, oh, oh. 
Then we also have translucent, which is the universal shade for everybody. Wow, that's some good balancing right there. Look at that. The Anastasia setting powder is a lightweight, silky powder that sets makeup with a flawless matte finish. So hopefully there will be no shine, fingers crossed. It delivers a long wearing effect to the makeup. Okay, we will test that today and see. Hopefully I don't have to do many touch-ups. It is clinically tested and also cruelty-free and vegan. And this setting powder will retail for $36, which just like the foundation is very like average pricing. Oh my god, okay, the intro is finally done. This is why I don't do reviews, okay? That was like three hours of me just talking and stuttering and trying to say the same thing over and over again. Too much information. This is why I just like to put on the makeup and call it a day, but I'm so excited to actually get into this and try this out. But now we have another challenge before we actually get into our makeup, and that is color matching. <laughs> This should be interesting. Okay, so we have the 200s, which definitely looks like it could be good for me. We have the 300s, which is too dark, I feel like, definitely. We have the 100s, which I feel like are too light. We have the 500s, which are definitely not right. I'm gonna go ahead and test some of the shades in the light category. We have 160, 200, 210, 220, and 240, and see if any of them are a good match for me. Let's try 160. On my hand, it looks a little bit light. On my face, it looks a little bit light. On my chest, it looks a little bit too yellow. Let's try 200 W. Now on my hand, it also looks way too light. On my face, it looks too light. And on my chest, it looks not great. Let's try 210 neutral. The undertone looks a little bit better, but it still looks a little bit too light on my hand. On my face, it looks not anywhere close to anything. On my chest, the undertone looks definitely better, but still no. Let's try 220 neutral. Do I need to go a little bit darker? Honestly, yeah. Okay. Let's try 250. Ooh, wow. That like blends in with my neck so well. Kind of, ish. Maybe not. Oh my God, why am I so bad at this? If I mix together 250 and 220, let's see how this looks. That looks really good. That undertone looks really good. Yep. Okay, we're going with that one. Okay, out of all the shades that we tried, I think I'm actually going to end up going with 315 Neutral, which is a lot darker than I thought it would be. But as you can see, this color matches my hand almost like exactly. And once I blend in way down on my neck, it's gonna match the rest of my body too. Like I said, this process is very, very irritating and frustrating for me to deal with, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna start off with just my Tatcha Water Cream to moisturize my face before I go ahead and put on the foundation. And then just grabbing a tiny little bit of the Dragon Beauty color corrector just to cover over some beard areas, just like I normally do. Finally, let's go ahead and put this on. I'm going to split my face in half and do a beauty blender on one side and a brush on the other. Both of these are from Morphe, which you guys can use code James for 10% off of. And we'll see which one looks better. Wow, that actually looks like a really good color. The foundation claims to be lightweight and medium coverage, which I will say it is building up really, really nicely. And it is covering over the color corrector, which is obviously important because we don't want orange shining through. The point is just to cancel out those gray tones. You definitely can still see my freckles and beauty marks through the foundation, which I really, really do like but it is doing a great job at evening everything out, which is obviously the point of medium coverage. Okay, it's definitely feeling really, really nice on the skin. It does not feel super heavy, just like it claimed, which is obviously really, really good. And I feel like it did a good job of evening everything out, covering everything. Honestly, it looks really, really bomb. Okay, let's go ahead and try the brush on the other side. I've honestly always just been so confused and also jealous of people who are able to use a foundation brush and like do their foundation. No matter how much I blend it out, I always feel like I need a beauty blender to go in and just like make everything look like perfect and get rid of brush strokes. Like, is that just me? Like, am I literally crazy? I'm definitely a beauty blender type of person. Now we just have to blend this down really, really far in here. Okay, you guys, so this is how the foundation looks on the skin with a beauty blender on one side and a foundation brush on the other. Oh, wow. Okay, we are close up and ready to go. Wow, it looks really, really pretty. It definitely is luminous, just like it claims, but it doesn't look like gross oily. I definitely will be setting this down to the powder in a few minutes, but this is off to a really, really good start. I definitely do agree that it is medium coverage. It even everything out really nicely, but you can still see my freckles popping through. There is this pimple popping through, which is annoying me, but I wonder if I add just a little bit more, if it'll like build up. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, so it is definitely buildable too. This is good and fresh. Let's do concealer quickly. For concealer, as always, I'm just gonna grab my shape tape and highlight the middle points of my face. All right, that is everything all blended out. The concealer layered over top of everything really, really nicely, nothing weird at all. And the foundation is looking so, so beautiful at this point, but I do wanna go ahead and set it in place. So we're gonna test out the brand new Anastasia setting powders as well. I'm gonna first grab the shade Vanilla because these can be used for brightening. I don't know why, but I love how big these jars are. It feels very luxurious. I'm just gonna dip my beauty sponge into that powder. I'm gonna pop this right underneath the eye to do some nice brightening. I wonder how brightening this actually is. That could have been a mistake. I'm gonna also put this right in the middle of my forehead, down my nose, 
because that's always where it gets the most oily. Wow, that mattified things really quickly. Focusing this kind of like in the center of my face. Then I'm just gonna grab the translucent shade and with a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna dip into this and use this to set the rest of my face in place. Okay, so they were not kidding when they said that it would be very matte, wow. I'm just gonna give myself a quick spritz of the Anastasia Dewy Setting Spray just because this is the luminous foundation. And if I zoom you guys in, this is what the foundation is looking like now that it's all set in place. It is setting on the skin so nicely. There's no creasing, no fine lines, no texture. This is good. Okay, you guys, so this is pretty much the base routine all complete. And I will say right now, I'm really, really liking how it looks, but I have a full face of makeup now to add on to this before my photo shoot, which I'm now running very, very late for. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera quickly. I will check in with the finished look in about an hour from now. And then we will continue checking in throughout the day to see if it continues to look really, really good, or this could turn into a major fail later on. We're gonna find out together. All right, you guys, we are back, and this is the finished look all complete. This is not a special look. It is for the photo shoot, like I said, but obviously we're focusing on the foundation, and as of right now, I think it looks so, so beautiful. It is currently 2.30, oh, you can't even see it. It is currently 2.31 p.m. You're gonna have to trust me on this one. I started this video about two hours ago now, but I did have to take about a 30-minute break for a phone call meeting, and through talking through the entire thing, I did not get any creases. The foundation still looks really, really beautiful. I am getting a little bit of shine right here in this area, which I don't love, but it is a luminous foundation which is a little bit different for me. So I'm gonna go into this open-minded and just hope that it doesn't get really, really bad later on. If it stays like this, I'll be super, super happy. Okay, you guys, and here's how it looks in natural lighting too. Honestly, you guys, I think it looks so, so good. I don't wanna jinx it because we've only been wearing it for a little while now, but it looks so bomb and the color, like, guys, that's a match. This is rare. <laughs> How would you say my foundation's looking so far? I'm doing a little review today. Okay, it looks really good. It looks like a good match. <laughs> I know! <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem to have like oxidized or anything. And it's showing up amazing on the pictures too. So. Okay, so we're about four hours in right now. This is pretty good for four hours. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Hello, vlog. It is currently 6.42 p.m. I'm at McDonald's right now. We just finished our photo shoot and I was super hungry because I realized I forgot to eat today. Don't do that, kids. It's not good for you. And I thought it'd be really cute to just like take some photos with my McFlurry and my french fries. But I wanted to do a quick little check-in because as I was looking through the photos of our little McDonald's parking lot photo shoot that we have going on right now, the first thing that I noticed was my skin was looking really, really good. And I'm very excited about that. The foundation has been on for about seven hours by now. It was also, okay, about 105 degrees in California today, which was absolutely absolutely disgusting. I was literally sweating the most during my photo shoot. TMI, sorry you didn't need to know that, but you do because it's a foundation review. Um, I didn't do any touch-ups, but I did have to like blot myself a tiny little bit with a napkin earlier. It's really hard being an Instagram model, you guys. <laughs> but point being, it still looks really, really bomb. We are seven hours in. The foundation wear test is going pretty well. If I look in the mirror, I'm not really seeing any creases aside from just this one in my mouth region, but I get that all the time. Um, my nose region is getting a little bit oily. This happens in literally every foundation that I've ever worn, but it's not bad. So I'm really happy. What do you guys think? You can't answer that. Joke's on you, but I'll read the comments later on. <laughs> Let's get out of here. This is a mess. <laughs> you guys, this looks so good. Oh, like, hello, are you kidding? All right, sisters, we are finally back home after a very, very long, but super, super productive day. I cannot wait for you guys to see what we've been working on. It is currently 11.08 p.m. at night. Duh, that is what p.m. means, oh my God. I am beyond exhausted, and this makeup has been on for 11 hours now, and it is time to give you guys my final thoughts. I am pretty sure you guys can guess how I'm feeling about this foundation, since I definitely have made it really obvious through all the check-ins today, but I do want to give you guys just a quick little sister summary. My skin definitely is getting pretty oily in a few different places, specifically my nose region, right here on like my under eye cheek type of region, and then kind of above the brow bone in the center of the forehead. This is pretty typical for my skin, no matter what foundation I'm wearing, especially if I don't do touch-ups throughout the day, which I normally do. Obviously for this review, I did not, so I can give you guys the unfiltered result, but considering this is a luminous foundation, I really don't think it looks bad at all. I think this is exactly what the foundation claims to do. And if I'm being honest, I don't even think the oiliness looks that bad. Personally, I would definitely take a little bit of powder and touch up this face, but I know a lot of people do prefer a more dewy, natural, skin-like type of finish. So for those of you guys, I think this foundation will be absolutely perfect. And this is definitely something that I'll be adding to my kit and using a lot more often. All right, you guys, and I think that is pretty much everything that I have for today's 
a brand new video. I'm trying to make sure that I didn't forget anything, but I think we're pretty much all good. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your love and support. It would really mean a lot to me. And also leave me a comment down below and let me know if you actually like seeing me do reviews. Let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if you are intrigued and you want to try it out. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing you guys' thoughts. I obviously love trying out new makeup products and would love to do these videos more often. Of course, only if you guys want to see them as well. If you have not already, make sure to click that big red subscribe button down below and come join the sisterhood. We are almost 16 million sisters strong enough to have you join the family and also click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on a makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They're both to James Charles. My Snapchat for more behind the scenes stuff is James Charles with an extra S after Charles. And my Twitch for gaming content is J Charles Beauty. This video is Sister Sada Costa Sister Anne. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting. You know, I love you literally so, so, so much. And if you'd like to be the next video's Sister Sada, don't forget to always retweet my videos and go live on Twitter and also turn on my YouTube post notifications. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye!